Needed with many counties facing extreme drought conditions right now. And over the last year, Hillsborough County Court Enforcement, they have handed out more than $24,000 in fines for breaking water restrictions. That drought has been so bad in some areas that we've been telling you here at 10 Tampa Bay, retention ponds even drying up. So our Nick Valturo, he joins us live now to explain more about this. Good morning, Nick. Sarah, Caitlin, good morning. And yes, the rain can't wash away all of these concerns, especially with there not being nearly enough. And many counties, counties in the area are putting restrictions in place to conserve as much water as possible. Now, the Tampa Bay area drowning in concern over water consumption. Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Pasco County all looking to turn the tide in 2024. Now, some residents landing in hot water in Hillsborough County. Code enforcement issued 181 code citations and more than $24,000 in fines last year. In December, the county rewarded customers with an early Christmas gift, a reset button to adjust to the new rules, issuing only one citation, but more than 320 warnings. In Hillsborough County, residents can only water their lawns once a week, cut down from November when residents Residents were able to water their lawns twice weekly. Catherine Munson with Southwest Florida Water Management District labels excessive irrigation as the leading water usage problem, accounting for up to 50% of a household's water use. And she's confident keeping the restrictions in place is the only way to plug that problem. Water conservation is important year round. But it's especially important right now because we have seen lower than average rainfall during our past rainy season. So the biggest way to conserve water around the household is going to be outdoor water saving. So being really mindful of our outdoor water use. Now, Munson warns watering the lawn more than once a week could result in fines. Now, she ex suggests people check for leaks. That's one of the biggest other problems that they're seeing. A leaky faucet or a leaky toilet can waste up to 100 gallons of water a day. Now, this is a half gallon bottle. That's 200 of these bottles being flushed down the drain. She also suggests taking shorter showers and making sure you're using high efficiency washing machines when doing the laundry and coming up on the bright side at 6 30 we speak to a resident who's watching her retention pond dry up and is asking residents to help do their part to conserve water we're putting live in tampa nick volturo 10 tampa bay